This week at the House of Valentina, we have some serious Amazon duds coming in. However, we also have some surefire winners as well. They take a bit of a turn at the House of Valentina and the house is a bit wrecked at the moment. We've got some serious organization to be working on in the drawers, around the house, and most definitely in the closet. We'll be sharing a total transformation of the closet with you and giving you a little mini tour. But the best part is actually at the end when we share one of our favorite recipes that is so mouthwatering, I almost can't even tell you about it. Make sure you stay till the end for this one. You are going to love it. Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the House of Valentina. As you can tell, I am in my PJs and this is definitely not the way that we normally start things here. <laughs> But one of the things that you guys have always asked for for years on the main home channel is to please see some behind the scenes, a little BTS of how things actually come together. So I wanted to show you how things actually work around here, which is that I'm kind of running around the house, working on a whole bunch of things at once, ideating and thinking through everything. And there's kind of chaos, actually. The process is actually quite chaotic which is why I don't normally share that with you because I would think that it would be a little bit overwhelming actually at times to see this kind of madness. <laughs> I am a very creative and artistic person. I always have been. And there's always this flow that kind of happens when I'm thinking through new ideas and things. And so today I thought it'd just be fun to give you a little behind the scenes of some new Amazon arrivals. I'm gonna show you the closet, which is a catastrophe right now. And I'm getting ready to change some things up in the bathroom for the new season. One of the things, this reason I'm out here instead of the closet is that I got really excited because I got a little update from Amazon saying that, hey, guess what? You've got a, a package on the porch. And I was like, yay. And I came to look to see what had arrived. I was trying to find some cherry blossoms on Amazon and honestly, these are just awful. They, they're, ugh, they're just awful. They're, if it comes this bent, they're probably not gonna be that great. And I don't know, I'm like, could, should I open them up a little bit more? Give them a chance? And I'm like, no, these are just, this is what faux florals, this is what's wrong with faux florals, okay? These are not good ones. We're gonna keep looking. I ordered, I think I ordered 10 different kinds, at least, at least six, okay? So I will share with you if they come in while we're doing this video. I'll share with you some of the other ones. Hopefully I will have some successes. From a distance, I think these could work, but up close, all you see, all you see is plastic, okay? I'll get you up close. You can see plastic and like, I don't know. You can, it's just literally all you see is plastic. It's not a good look. It's not a good look. I think we can do better. Okay, so I'm gonna put those down and um, yeah, I've gotten in this little set, which unfortunately for me, I think it's gonna be too close to my skin tone. I'll still try it on. I'll still show you how it looks. But uh, if you have really dark skin or really pale skin, I think that this would be an extraordinary color. I own this in black and love it. And Jack wanted to treat me uh, to this set. And so we ordered it and now I'm like, I don't wanna download that. I'm I don't think the color is gonna look good on me. I won't go through all of these with you guys because I have a whole closet full of stuff that I need to show you. So let's go in there and I'll show you what I've been up to and then I need to get dressed because I don't think I've ever been in my PJs on any of my channels before. But I actually sleep. These are the ones from H&M that I talk about all the time. Their little satin pajamas are the best and they have pockets, which I love. And then I'm wearing the matching shirt and I throw my cashmere sweater over it because I am always freezing. And yeah, I slept in it. I know I say I'm not supposed to do that because I don't know what it's like get worn faster, but I slept in it. <laughs> so yeah, let's go back and let me show you what I'm doing back here. You can see here, I have got all kinds of stuff pulled out of my bedroom. Thing pulled out right now because the painters have been here this week and they have been uh, just doing some touch-ups in the bedroom. And so it's a little bit of a mess in here, but I've also been looking through this amazing book, Jeffrey Dungan, The Nature of Home. I thought what was so genius about this book is that it really shows, one of the things you guys were asking about, I did a video on the main home channel about French country, and you guys were asking, how would I do that? And this book, I think, really shows how to do a very elegant, sophisticated version of French country. 
It really has that gorgeous stone and the beautiful windows, and you can even see some of the little antlers and that muted, that muted, almost monastic, you know, gothic look is what I just absolutely love. And I just think he nails this style. And look at how beautiful that is. It really just brings in those elements that I was talking about. So I got really excited and wanted to share that with you guys. I'll probably have that on the Amazon Live as well. So this stuff just flows naturally out of what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about. And then I'm ready to do some spring updates. So I've actually pulled some of my pillows. I've got a mix here of Pottery Barn. I think these are actually Amazon. I've got Amazon West Elm that are really similar. And then these are Amazon. Those are the ones with those chain on them that look so Hermes. And then I was thinking a little, maybe bring back a little bit of the faux croc. So you can see where I'm kind of pulling stuff out and starting to think about what I'm going to be doing in here because I'm, uh, it has hit me. I'm like, oh, first of February, I'm thinking spring. I'm thinking spring and I'm ready to switch out the blooms and make some changes. So yeah, that's what we're doing at the moment. Oh my gosh, I just realized <gasps> the lime tree has blossoms on it. <gasps> I had not seen those before. That's a really good sign. That means that these will actually fruit even this year. So that's exciting. Okay, let me bring you back in the bedroom. Then back here, we just worked with Brooklyn and on the main channel. So I've got the sheets on the bed right now and they are just so soft and so luxurious. So make sure you check out the home channel and I'll try to see if the code is still working. If it does, I'll, I'll leave that link for you guys if you wanna get the discount code on the sheets. And then the guys were just in here doing some touch-ups along the ceiling. Um, yeah, so just have, it's just normal to get little cracks and things like that. So they were here doing that. And then I've gotta show you this look at the blossoms oh my goodness and like little fuzzies but we don't need that <laughs> look at the blossoms here guys they are so fragrant and my one little lime still has just a little bit of green i'm kind of holding out to to pick it just at the right moment but uh, we actually have this sitting the only way we can have this indoors is that it's sitting on this little pad thing it's a waterproof kind of pad with a cork this one i think has a cork bottom but i just buy those on amazon and it's how i'm able to have this in here the other one is faux so there's no water involved so it doesn't need something underneath it but yeah i'm i'm excited because i think i'm going to do a little bit of updating in here for spring and here let me get you back here so we're not so backlit but yeah, I've got the little hydrangea out. I think those will stay. I found my little H&M. This is one of their vases that I had bought last year. And so I brought that out. I thought it looked so pretty with the leather here. And so yeah, the hydrangea are from Amazon. And then you can see I've been reading Country Life and a whole slew of magazines. And at the moment, Magnolia is over here. Not much is changing yet. But you can see this is where <laughs> This is where the plot thickens, guys. This is where the plot thickens. Or what are these random things laying in the floor? I know, I know. Well, it's about time to take out the evergreen, and I'm kind of sad. I think I'm actually, one of them has not survived. It's starting to really dry out. I'm just going to put that one to, you know, go back to nature, basically. And we can do, like, yard clipping pickups, and they just do it for compost. But this one has actually survived. So if you put grains in a vase and they have survived, you may want to leave them and see if they root because you could potentially actually put this into the ground if it rooted. So several of mine have lived and they're actually, you know, amazing and they grow so well. So that's the cypress in there. And yeah, so I'm getting ready to change all of this up and I've pulled out some of my perfumes over here because I'm like, when they're away, I never use them, but I don't like everything to be out. These are amazing. Celine and Pure Noir by Anina Bing. Uh, I think I'll, this one has like an amber smell to it and I love just spraying it actually in the room because it just smells so good and it just kind of lingers. But yeah, and then the Celine Parade is like a unisex and it's got kind of like a, like an amber kind of smoky wood smell to it. It's incredible. But the other thing I'm working on <laughs> is this. 
I have had these little white bins in here, which are very practical. They're from Ikea, but I kind of hate them because they're so ugly and everything in here just kind of looks kind of trashed. So my goal is to, I've just been ordering stuff to refinish all of this. And if I can, I'll try to put the clips in. Underneath here, I have a, like, this is stuff that's available on Amazon because we do so many of the Amazon lives and it's really hard for me to remember <laughs> what's what. So I have things separated that are available on Amazon down here in these little wire bins. And I think I'll probably leave those. So that is really good. If you're looking for a really nice lip gloss, these by Maybelline are really good. And I've got things kind of tucked back in there. See, that's how I'm reusing candle holders. So just so you know, that stuff does actually get used around here. But yeah, I'm also, look, you can see my cup is here where I'm having my morning uh, water and my phone is sitting here because I was watching YouTube. <laughs> and then I've got tuberose and cashmere going in here and it just smells really, really good. Jack got me some hydrangea as well from, um, F yeah, what's it called? Whole Foods. There we go. There we go. And then my, <laughs> this is my randomness. That's heating up and I just completely redid this in my pajamas while I'm getting ready. Got a YouTube video playing and that's kind of how I work. So I've been wearing today. I did Bois de Argent and let me show you. I got the little one of this and now I want the big one. The Holy Peony. Let's see if it'll focus on it. Holy Peony is absolutely amazing. I think actually this nail color is really cute as well. That one's from Chanel. I'll try to link it up if it's still available. But this with the Bois de Argent is just the most amazing smell. And you can tell I'm just ready for spring. I'm just ready for spring. So yeah, I could probably use a little work on this little area as well. <laughs> That's for another day. <laughs> Not too many projects. If you see the mess I have in here, I have picture frames that are supposed to be going up on the wall here. I wanted to switch these out instead of doing the gold in here. I wanted to do the black and I have not gotten around to it. So hopefully today we can actually get some of this artwork up. I've got my little rack here with things that I, you know, like things for the week to wear. And I was literally in the process of organizing, just starting to rethink how I wanted to do this. I pulled out all of this stuff, which was sitting underneath there before, and then found my little shagreen tray. Tell me if that does not look so cute. And then you can just pull them out. This is how they do it in the, in the designer shops. And I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> that looks so good. So I think I'm gonna do that everywhere and then uh giving the jimmy choo shoes their moment here i just love them so beautiful and i need to dust and get everything prepped you can see that's been sitting down there since the closet was kind of done and uh, i don't know about you guys but i always save my boxes from things and so i had this kind of tucked back behind things so it's kind of a mess like here even like i really need to find a spot for the louis vuitton box besides there and then here is the mess. <laughs> this is the part of me nobody really wants to see. <laughs> okay, this is the part of me I don't want you to really see, okay? But I have such a mess of clothes here. I just got in a ton of really cute stuff. And so I just started stacking it and then the stack got bigger and bigger and bigger. And then I don't even know. Oh, this was in the middle of the night because I got cold and I had my turtleneck stuffed inside of the sweater that I'm wearing right now. And uh, so that one had to come out. <laughs> I threw it down on the floor in the middle of the night. This is pathetic. I should not show this to anyone on the internet. But yeah, that is the Amazon Essentials one that I tell you I wear all the time. But I was going to take you guys through what I've got here and share with you some of those new and finds, including, look at this bag from Tory Burch. Is this not just so cute? And I got so excited because it perfectly matches my little, um, I got a little dent in them. Uh, these are the ones from Sam Edelman that I really love. Uh, I'm going to get this organized. I'm going to get dressed. Yeah, I've got, look, look at the mess. This is not, this is not normal for me. I've been way too busy and this has to get fixed. But then you can kind of see over here where I'm also organizing. And I don't have is this just an annoyance thing for me. <sighs> I'm not sure what I'm going to do. 
if I'm just going to lop the sneakers over here and then take out these boxes, I use these for overflow storage of just extra supplies like female products and that kind of stuff. And then I've got the steamer down here and I was thinking I could also either put the tray in here or I could just lower the shelf and put this in here. So that way I could put some things away. So let me, uh, let me keep organizing in here and then get, and get dressed. <laughs> I'll show you a few of those new in items and then I'll show you a little bit of the after here because you know it's not gonna stay like this. Mm. Taking a minute, Jack was just helping me film the clips of the outfit so I could show you how everything looked because I'd like to try it on so I'll be able to actually tell you if stuff fits. <laughs> so he's been hanging out with me with your little iced coffee. I know. Is that <laughs> I've already made the switch like, to summer yeah, drinks. I'm like, you're moving to spring already? <laughs> I already did. I always drink mine hot. Okay, I was literally in the office and Jack was outside getting the boxes and he could hear me gasp. <laughs> I was like, <gasps> I ran back in, I was like, <laughs> that wasn't like, I just saw a, you know, a, a rat or something. That was like, something cool happened. Oh my gosh, am I ever in love with this bag? Um, I'm freaking out. This is gorgeous. I, I think that the pattern on it is just gorgeous. I love this saddle brown color. I think this is actually moose brown. It's somewhere underneath here, okay? This is this is me, okay? I like to, before I'm gonna buy a bag, I'm gonna buy every bag. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure that the one I got is the one I really Whoa. want. <laughs> We're all hiding. So, guys, I'm never gonna be able to choose. I'm never gonna be able to choose. This is just ridiculously cute. Love this style. I love the fact that it's got the center zip and then the easy access pockets for like, you know, just slipping your phone in there and everything. This one is a non-negotiable. That's not going anywhere. <laughs> no, no. You already licked that one. Yeah. <laughs> it's mine. But now I can't decide because, ah, uh, this is so cute too with the little tassels on it like this and then, it's got the big zip area, and then inside, I've got sunglasses hidden in here, oh actually. Gosh. You can put a huge thing with sunglasses. I actually have them sitting underneath here, but uh, sunglass case and a, the straps for the bag are in there. Like, there is a lot of room in that bag. Oh, why? Why does Tory Burch have to make so many good things? I know. And um, they look really cute with my Sam Edelman shoes. But I tried on the Cole Haan. I tried on the Cole Haan. <laughs> That's like really rude in a lot of cultures to yeah, share you this soul. Yeah, half the world. <laughs> I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> They're clean, I haven't gone anywhere. I have not insulted anyone. These are literally the most comfortable loafer slash mule I have ever put on my feet. I even told Jack, I was like, I wish that you could like, I wish your foot was small to fit in this because I, I want you to know how comfortable these are. They are amazing. Do you guys think that the color is close enough? Put that one up here so they can kind of see. Do you think the color is close enough to wear them together? They'd be separated, you know? I mean, more than that, I'm not that sure. But <laughs> <laughs> it's a little um, more distance. Definitely with this one, don't you think? Oh yeah, definitely. I I'm freaking I mean, out. I am in love with this shoe. I'm in love with the bags. I don't know what to do. Help me decide. <laughs> it's all so good. It is all really good. Okay, so yeah, I'm putting the shoe back on because I don't want to send those back. I really love them. I was like, ooh, they come in black and white as well. Ooh. Let me know what you think. Okay, next up was the Levi's jeans. I thought these fit great. Um, I keep ordering these. This is the classic straight, and uh, I left the tag on because I will watch the playbacks and make sure. Let me know what you guys think if you like the way they fit. I like the fact that the stitching is there, but it's not super noticeable. So yeah, you've got the Levi's feeling, but the stitching wasn't like, no, it wasn't like screaming High at you. High contrast. No, these are the, I don't know what the style number is, but it says, yeah, classic makes straight. your butt look good. Check. <laughs> Let it, me know if you guys think so too. Because it did. Oh, silly. Okay, ended up loving this. Yes. Love this. Love, love the little floral pattern on it. It was fun. I love just the little like rick rack kind of cuteness on it. I know I don't use cute What's very rick -rack? often. This little stuff. Oh. This little trim work on it. I have no idea it. what that means. Yeah. It's not actual rick rack, just to make that clear. <laughs> um, it's just a little trim on it, okay? So I don't I can't say that I would actually wear rick rack. I, I probably oh, wouldn't. I have few, to use it this week. I have to figure out how to use that term. Because there's a few brands that actually do use rick rack. It's the little wobbly stuff. We'll be somewhere, I'll be like, that is so rick rack. Stop. <laughs> 
Well, anyways, I'm really excited about this because it looks cute paired up with like white jeans uh -huh. and denim, but it's also gonna look really cute with a pair of like khaki chinos. Oh yeah. And then a little pair of khaki shorts yes. pleated with the little sun hat. I can see it now. I can see it now. I'm just ready for it. Can you tell? I needed a little spring infusion. Yes. Okay, I didn't actually put this back on, you know, neatly on this hanger just yet. We were just trying to try on a whole bunch of stuff because I also tried on the rest of the rack. So Ooh. if you haven't watched our Amazon Lives, you need to be watching the Amazon Lives. We're live every Saturday at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we literally try all kinds of things on with you guys. We hang out with you. You can chat with us. It is a blast. It is a, so much fun. And then if you're looking for links that are non-Amazon, you can always go to our LTK. But this one with that gorgeous detail up there, this was without a I doubt. I love that. that. We can just take the tag off. That was without hesitation. Yep. Totally. A keeper. Then I had two blazers. Okay, so one of them, here, you hold that I'll one. I'll hold this one. That one felt a little bit tight, like across the back and a little bit on the shoulder. So if you're like me and you're a little bit broad shouldered, or not like me, but if you have a big breast, <laughs> you might need to size up in this one. Cause I just felt like my shoulders were a little bit tight in here, mm -hmm. but then this one was just perfection. So this one's a little bit more oversized in nature and it had these absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous oh. buttons. I can't even tell what that is. It's like a, it's like a little building on the front of it. It is. Yeah. It says uh, Coco Paris Classic Paris. So. That's awesome. Really cute. This is that Mina Self brand. If you haven't watched my Amazon Lives, I show the blazers from Mina Self all the time. It's one of the best finds on Amazon. Yeah, totally. So I think these are really cute. I'm going to return this and size up. Totally jumping the gun here. Is that is that the expression? <laughs> yes. It says one with an iced coffee in January. <laughs> it's February, my whatever fault. it is. No, it's February. It's February. Well, I just couldn't help it. I saw this little dress. It reminds me of the long one that is like, he yes. cannot shut up about that. Oh my that. God. I was about to cuss. <laughs> what were you saying? <laughs> the dang dress. Oh. <laughs> will not stop talking. Oh, I love that about dress. the gauzy long version oh my of God, this one. What it is. I'll leave a link for that one as well. But the short version is just so cute. And putting on, I've actually got the little belt on now here, the little woven one. It just looks so adorable, and that's a definite keeper. I'm, I'm just so ready for it. summer and spring. Know, spring and summer. Spring, like all the flowers. I love blooming. you in summer. And then I also ordered these sunglasses. <laughs> I almost don't really show him this all the time. I don't so. see any of this stuff. <laughs> Look at these. Look at the detail. I oh, love those. like the side view of your sunglasses. Very important stuff. Plus yeah. the front. We'll always put them down a little bit. Supposedly that makes you look cooler. <laughs> I don't think there's any hope for me, but you know, <laughs> every little bit helps. <laughs> oh, I love those. Really like these. Really, really like these. So we have gotten the closet cleaned up at the moment, but I'm now I've placed my order for all the organizational stuff. I can't wait. I gotta tell you, normally we do a recipe right now, but we already have the recipe made from last night. I made this hummus that was like, I think I almost ate all of it myself. Felt kind of bad about that. You did eat some, right? <laughs> yeah, but I did at one point say, was there hummus in the kitchen? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it I was good. started before you got home because Haley and I were eating it before you got home. Oh, are you there. serious? Yeah, so I kind of ate a lot of it. It's it so good. It was good. so good. I have not had hummus like that, like maybe ever. So, um, and I made roasted vegetables to go oh, with it as well. And it was so just like, good. oh, take me to heaven. <laughs> Die, <laughs> this is my moment. So I don't know about you, whether you like hummus, but for us, it's, well, I was gonna say crack cocaine, but I don't want anybody to actually think <laughs> we mean that. I don't, just as a disclaimer, I've never taken crack <laughs> or cocaine. I don't think the word is taken either. I think you do something else to oh, it. I don't know, would you push it? I don't know. I don't know, snort it? Okay, I don't so know what clearly, you do. Well, obviously we don't, we don't know what we're we talking about. We don't do about. recreational <laughs> drugs here. We have no experience with these things. But that hummus from what is, I've heard. <laughs> from what I've heard, it is quite addictive. And the hummus <laughs> is really that good. Oh so I am going to, we're going to eat our leftovers tonight. And then I'll make it with you when we come back. Because I need to wait for all the organizational stuff to come. Yeah. And then we'll share with you the outcome of the closet. 
But that should be fun, right? It will be a lot of yeah, fun. Yes, so I'll give you a little tour around. Well, anyways, um, we're going to meet you back in just a couple of days when everything has arrived. And uh, yeah, it should be lots of fun. So we will see you guys in a couple days. All right. So today is the day. We've got it all organized in here. And I am so excited to be able to share how the, the closet has turned out. Now, I didn't actually show you guys a before of this closet and I just wanted to mention that before when we first bought the house the closet was pretty dingy and it wasn't the smallest closet <laughs> we've had closets where we literally had three feet of hanging space I mean this is huge compared to anything that we've ever had before but trying to get the most out of the space was also a bit of a challenge and because we've got these crazy little curves and all this stuff but what I did when I redid this was I really just wanted to kind of own the quirkiness of it and just work with the, the bends and the twists. And so I think we've done that really well here by creating the uh, the shoe. They, they call it the shoe shrine. If you ever go to, to get your closet done, that's what they like to call it is a shoe shrine. And I'm like, I support. <laughs> But I also did one crazy thing, and that was putting in a ton of drawers for storage. So that has actually ended up being really helpful. And of course, it's the winter season, so trying to get all the coats in. I did remove the the little, whatever it's called, the rack, the rack <laughs> that was here before, because it is better with it not in here. You can definitely move around a little bit easier. And I've just incorporated everything in. I have also taken out quite a bit of the seasonal items that I know I'm not going to wear. It's February and I'm not going to wear like a velvet blazer right now. So I've put some of that stuff down in the long-term storage area that we have in the basement so that I could just kind of free up my stuff. And I find for myself, and it's really effective to just kind of go through and pull out items that I know I'm not going to wear. And that way I can see what I am going to wear a lot easier. So you can see here where we've just kind of organized the jackets and the coats, uh, organized the shirts a little bit better. And if you come around here, you'll see I've got my sweaters kind of sorted. I took out a couple of the seasonal ones and then just folded everything really nicely. And I think it just really makes it, it feels like, like going to like Dior. <laughs> I <laughs> love it. I love it. And then in here, I've got these little organizers that I ended up adding in to where I could add the scarves in there and the sunglasses. And these are really nice because they actually layer. So that is really nice because then you can have a couple layers of items in there. And then here I've got my watches. Oh dear, one is moved. There we go. All perfect now. I don't have that many bracelets. I'm like, I should have more bracelets. Maybe I should add the... Uh, the Valentino ones over there. They're kind of sitting up here in a pile. What do we think? I could add these in here. See, we're still just always organizing and moving things around. What do you think, guys? I think that could be quite nice. Look at how pretty that is. Okay, there you go. So a little bit of snake and some Valentino and yeah, much more organized. The other thing that we did is that we added in these little trays and I absolutely love these. These came from Amazon. So it's really, really fun when you can find something that's really affordable and create just an absolutely elevated and luxurious feel in a room. So now each of the bags kind of has like its own little slot. And I don't have a humongous bag collection. I guess one day if I have too many bags, <laughs> I could just double layer them or, you know, redo this. But since I don't have very many, it just makes them each feel kind of special. And I like to organize uh, by color for the shoes. So over here, you can kind of see, we've got the brown section, it's so pretty. And I just think that it's just so organized and pretty. And I've gotten in all these gorgeous, I got in two bags this week from Tory Burch. I just love them. I mean, you can have just the simplest outfit and add on a little bag like this and yeah, ooh, 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 or a little bit of, yeah, Alexander McQueen. Yeah, so uh, it is fun to come in here and just play. <laughs> I love it, I love it. Um, back here, I, I left the little risers, but I just kind of moved everything around and then added, you can see where I'm like, there's space for another bag. <laughs> 
<laughs> Does that mean it needs to be filled? <laughs> well, maybe one An day. An empty tray is a sad tray. I know. Well, I do love the Dior bags. You can probably tell I have a thing for Dior bags. I just love them. This is the one I've been carrying this week. And uh, just, oh my gosh, I just have so much fun with the Dior bags. But yes, we'll, we'll see what ends up going up here. So one of the other things that I did is that I also added one of those trays from Amazon and then organized my perfume collection. So I have a few that I leave, that I use every single day that are sitting by the sink, but then I didn't have a way of storing like my perfumes in like a nice way. So I think it really elevates them. And ooh, I got a little bit of dust on there. Goodness, well, it's a work in progress. <laughs> And then, oh my gosh, look at these stands. Do these not just look like the ones at Dior? I love them. They're actually really heavyweight. I had another set before, and I think these are even better. They're, they're sturdier, and the quality is just really, really good. And they're off of Amazon. So I think that really helped this area just feel a lot more organized. And then down here, I took out two pairs of sneakers that I never wear. And I took, took inspiration from Dior, the way they had their shoes turned two different ways. And what do you guys think? I actually kind of like it. I think that's really, really pretty. And then over here, I took <laughs> out, I minimized the boxes and I've put some up top. And then I've got some slippers and the um, steamer. And then I do have a few of these little boxes still down here with extra supplies. This the little Dior, man. They, these companies, they sell the, send you the prettiest boxes. I can never bring myself to get rid of any of them. So I just use them for storage. So then they just last forever. But I'm sure the one thing that you guys really want to see is the art wall. So the art wall, I'm not quite finished. I need to keep going through the basement and finding more photos of the kids and like our travel stuff, but I just haven't gotten around to it yet. However, I do really love the way that this turned out and how gorgeous it is going up and over. I ended up replacing all of the gold ones with black ones, except for just the one. <laughs> I have to order another one of the gold ones to go, or another one of the black ones to replace the gold one up there because I ended up really liking it being mostly black. I felt like that just helped it feel a little bit more uniform. And you, I mean, it's not a mystery here. I like things pretty simple. <laughs> so um, yeah, I've just really been enjoying it though. And I think I'll just keep switching out the artwork as we go. And that's what's so fun is that once you, once you have an art wall, you can always just switch things out. But anyways, it's been really, really fun to just get in here. I hope you've enjoyed watching the process kind of just unfolding and uh, I just encourage you just to have fun with whatever space you have as a closet and so that you can just genuinely just enjoy getting dressed. But I am actually starving hungry and I promised earlier that I would show you, like my tummy is actually growling. I promised I would show you how I've been making my hummus this week because it is stupidly simple and it's so delicious and that's what we've been eating off of all week because if we're busy, I don't usually make big elaborate meals and this is so simple. So let me bring you into the kitchen and uh, let's make up this amazing hummus and roasted carrots. Come on. All right, you guys. I am so excited to share this recipe with you because it is delicious and it takes seconds to make. Now, I have made my own hummus for years, but I saw that this Savor cookbook had this recipe in here for their, it's called the Rustic Bakery Chickpea Spread. And I was like, well, that sounds really good. And there's baguettes in here. So I got some baguettes <laughs> for us to slice in a minute. We're gonna get to that in just a second. But one of my favorite things in the entire world is to eat hummus with roasted carrots. Now, the cool thing about this recipe is that you can roast any vegetable you've got on hand and it is delicious. Every vegetable tastes better when it's been roasted. So if you've got a picky eater in your house, you might think about trying to roast your vegetables because they turn, they, they become like candy. They're so delicious. One of my favorite things in the entire world to eat is the colored carrots, especially the purple ones. I swear they are so sweet and they taste so delicious and I just love them. So these are some organic ones that I found at Whole Foods and 
You can leave the tops on them if you want them for the decor at the end and then just wash them really good. So literally all you're gonna do is just take your peeler and peel that right off. And uh, I have a friend, she's a Cordon Bleu chef. And when I was doing fruits and vegetables with her one day, she was like, no, 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 leave the little tail on to all the stuff. And I was like, really? You leave that on? And she's like, yeah because it looks really good when it's plated. So it literally takes two seconds to just pull the peel off, and then we're gonna rinse them and pat them dry and stick them in this tray. So next, what we're going to do is we are just simply going to put some oil down. Then I am still using the uh, citrus and fennel salt. It tastes so good. And we're just gonna give these a nice good salting here. And you can add other spices to these, but no, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna maybe add a little bit of garlic. I just make this up as I go, guys. Like whatever I'm in the mood for that day. I give it also a nice bit of cracked pepper. No joke, that's it. I'm gonna stick this in the oven. And get the door. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that was an H&M delivery, so you definitely wanna stay tuned till next week. Good thing they're definitely coming our way. Now, I have an extra second, so I'm gonna be a little bit extra this week, and I want to garnish my hummus spread with chickpeas. So I'm taking the can, this is a 15 ounce can, and I'm just draining it over the sink over here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the same thing as before. I got that same clean towel back out. All right, so literally all I'm gonna do is just pat those puppies, get them nice and dry, pop them into the pan, wipe down my space, make it all neat and tidy. Yeah, that had a lot of liquid in it and they just won't roast as nicely if all that liquid is left in them. And I am just gonna give them a nice little coat of olive oil. Kinda nice if they have like a little bit of flavoring to them. And again, I really don't have a recipe. I kinda just sprinkle stuff on. Let's see, let's add a little bit of this fennel, salt. How about a little bit of garlic in these? Just kinda a little sprinkle and a little bit of onion powder. You could put onions on here, but you know, we're kind of in a rush, so we're gonna do this the quick way. And I am saving the uh, everything bagel for the end, but a little bit of paprika will give them just a little bit of punch and a little bit of brightness. And I'm actually just going to just kind of mix that up really well and stick these in the oven along with the carrots. All right, now on to the chickpea spread or hummus as most of us would call it. I don't know, maybe hummus doesn't have as much tahini as this one does, I don't know, but I'm literally just draining the chickpeas over the sink and you don't have to dry them for this. We're gonna throw everything into the food processor. So this is stupidly easy. So uh, yeah, just throwing in the chickpeas. Then we're going to get some garlic cloves going here. Do it right over that pan and then just <laughs> don't try this at home. <laughs> I'm telling you, I am all about getting it done and getting it done quick. Then we get a squeeze two lemons. Just, I did just wash my hands with soap. Okay. And I just squeeze it over and I have my hand catching the seeds and the pulp. <laughs> I'm just showing you how I actually make it. Okay. Maybe this will deter you from wanting to eat at my house. <laughs> I doubt it. Once you taste this, you're going to want it. <laughs> but I like to keep it simple. And sometimes having too many tools just makes it to where you feel like it's too much work. And we don't want that, okay? Super, super simple. All right. Now we're going to get the tahini in there. And I never measure. It's calling for three quarters of a cup. This thing's about a cup. I'm not showing you what I'm doing and I just poured it. This is made with sesame seeds and so it gives it this amazing nutty taste that's like a little bit exotic and super yummy. So it's delish. 
Then we're gonna do about four tablespoons of oil, which will finish this one out. Can you tell we use a lot of olive oil in my house? <laughs> Talk about being a little bit cliche Greek here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna add about two teaspoons of salt. You can just add water in here as needed. So it might be up to about four tablespoons of water and that's it. I love this thing because it actually has like a dips little button. So that's it. Okay, so that essentially is all there is in this book. I'm going to taste test before. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, that's, that is so good. It's ridiculous. Oh my gosh. So, okay, we're just gonna get all of this into the bowl. I have to tell you, I think the bowl really does matter. And uh, you're gonna wanna get the spatula out because <laughs> otherwise you're gonna wanna be licking it off with your finger because it's so good. It is delicious. All right, guys, we've got the goods here. The veggies are almost done in the oven. And before all that comes out, I'm thinking maybe we should slice some bread to go with this too. Mm-hmm, yum. A little cutting board here and a baguette. And uh, we get these at Whole Foods. They're nice and crusty. But I'll also leave a link for this new website we found where you can have baguettes delivered to your door. And they're amazing. The bread is so good. So I will leave a link for that as well in case you don't have a place that has good baguettes because trust me, it makes a difference if they taste good. Okay, so I'm just gonna thinly slice these up real fast because they do make a really nice garnish and I mean, you could honestly just eat this with your finger. <laughs> Even your finger is gonna taste good with this stuff on it, it's so good. All right, so I think I'm gonna put the carrots on first. I mean, oh. Look at that, gorgeous. Oh my gosh, <laughs> yum. Look at how pretty they are, so beautiful. All right, look at how these chickpeas turned out. Oh, and we're just gonna kind of put them right down the center here. Gorgeous, these are so yummy because they're just something a little bit crispy and extra. the, the extra flavor is just insane. Okay, so this is where I have uh, veered <laughs> This is where I veer from the recipe because I didn't quite make it the way that they said to. I kind of do my own thing actually a lot. So um, hang on, I gotta get another thing of olive oil. <laughs> I mean, that is like the most Greek thing ever. <laughs> ah, this is like the most Greek moment. My mom and dad are gonna be laughing so hard. They will feel so proud. <laughs> I thought we'd make it with the one, but it was not enough. Why be cooking with gas when you can be cooking with oil, right? So I'm just gonna take that and just drizzle that around the top just a little bit and give it like, oh yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Then I'm gonna take the everything bagel, this is my own invention, <laughs> and sprinkle that across the top. And then a little bit of my lemon thyme on the top. I mean. Is that not just so beautiful? I mean, it'll take me two seconds to clean up and this, I'd say it could last a week, but it's never gonna survive <laughs> being in there that long. You ready to try this? Are you gonna yes. try with bread or the carrot? I'm gonna try the carrot. Here, ooh, all right, here we go, here we go. Mm. That is absolutely <laughs> incredible. Mm, my gosh. That is really, really good. I could literally sit and eat this entire bowl right now. <laughs> I could too, like I could easily, let's just. I'm sitting here plotting about how to get rid of him so I can sit and eat it all by myself. <laughs> you don't have to get rid of me, there's lots. I'm not well, dead, just out of the room. <laughs> You may want to double the recipe <laughs> so there's enough for two. 
please do for the sake of your husband or partner. But guys, I'm telling oh you, it's gosh. so delicious. It's super so easy, super healthy, and I know you'll love it. So I will leave the link to the cookbook and then I'm gonna leave you the link to my adapted version because I definitely made it a little bit different than they did and I wanna make sure you can make it the way I did. Yeah, I'm gonna finish this in just a second. <laughs> I wouldn't go far. <laughs> Well, thank you guys so much for joining me for another week here at the House of Valentina. Make sure you hit subscribe if you haven't already. We're here every Tuesday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we are having an absolute blast. I hope that you are as well. And it looks like we maybe have like an H&M haul for next week. Yep, it's gonna be a good one. Hope to see you then. Until then, bye. <laughs> no, seriously, where did you go with that? You can't leave with that. You can't break the fourth wall. I'm not back here. Oh, you are. And you're going to go down, buddy, if you take my food with you. Either that or I'm just going to take this one. <laughs> oh, I'll trade you. No, seriously, is this not just absolutely amazing? It's so incredibly good. It's so refreshing, isn't it? And it's really light. I know. We had like an epic week. We organized the closet, put up the art wall, and made hummus. And made hummus. And had an Amazon haul. I mean, <laughs> that's right. She cooks. In heels. <laughs> That's true. Yes, you do. I actually do cook in my heels. Yeah. Well, I guess, you know, I'm the modern Martha. Yeah. <laughs> With a lot of sass. Yeah. A lot of sass. <laughs> All right, well, this is calling my name. I am going to just take this. I'll be back. Bye. <laughs> Seriously, though, I'm actually going to eat this entire thing.